What's up everybody, 915 Mang here, hanging out with you guys today. Got a lot of things to talk about and we're going to get to business. It's going to be a good day. I got some corals from Mr. Budman, previously known as 67 Mustang on the Instagram. I've ordered from him plenty of times before and this must be at least order number 5, order number 6. Uh, he is an SPS master, um, has tons of colorful legit SPS frags and uh, I'm not just talking about little tiny nubs these are all big ass um, frags coming in hot so with that I'm very excited to get a bunch of new SPS frags coming in I usually do like SPS some types of sticks with uh, you know soft coral like Zoas this one is 100% all SPS uh, coming in and it's going to be a nice addition to the roof tank. Uh, hopefully I get some good growth. Everything has been doing uh, mostly okay and uh, the reason why I picked these up is because Budman Coral was having a 420 sale. I kind of knew he was going to be doing it because usually every year um, he'll do a sale like that. But if you uh, missed out on his sale i'll go ahead and provide you that coupon here in the description below so that way you can go ahead and uh, take advantage of some of these sales at least you know 10 percent from uh from what's going on now he usually keeps his uh, alkalinity at 8.5 to 9 and uh, i usually run a little low uh, i run around seven ish but I'm gonna try to keep up and stay, you know, in the eights. Uh, I ended up checking the other day and my alkalinity was like 8.9, which is way, way high for me. But as you can see, lots of goodies come into the, uh, the order. Um, he gives you coral dip, of course, and he gives you uh, fish food, a sample of food, and everything is nicely packed. I do wanna mention that um, the last order that I picked up, FedEx messed it up, and I didn't get my package until the third day. But um, when I ended up getting it on the third day, everything was still, you know, in perfect shape. So take a look at some of the things that I got. I got a freebie Pikachu, which is yellow right here. I can't wait to see what it looks like in the reef tank under the blues. Uh, Kraken, Schnauzberry, um, Sour... Jason Fox Sour Twist, which is going to be a nice one. And like I said, these are all pretty big, chunky frags. If you haven't followed him on Instagram, you can see what he does. And, you know, this man operates out of his garage. And he gives you some quality pieces right here. So he is a, a reefer, but also turned into a little side hustle. So props to anybody that does, does that. Eventually, I would like to be there. Check out some of the stickers I got. Lynn Reefner, Cherry Corals, Caffeinated Reefer, and Low Tide Corals. And one of this is on my frag tank. So I just added the Mr. Budman Coral um, sticker right there. And it's a great addition. So if you have some stickers you want to send out, let me know. I haven't yet set this tank up yet um, due to the fact that it, it is in the garage. And a little bit worried about that because of the heat. Um, like I said, the packaging is great. And check out the polyp extensions. Uh, this thing is still out, which is kind of crazy. That just shows you the quality of coral that you get. So I'm really excited to add these things to my tank. Hopefully you guys have been able to add a bunch of frags to your tanks. Um, add some nice additions with color, things like that. Whatever you're into. Whether it be mushrooms, SPS, Acropora, um, Zoanthids, which I'm usually a pretty heavy uh, Zoanthids guy. I just love the colors, but man, I got room for uh, SPS and Acropora in my tank. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and add some of those here in the thing. Uh, after I acclimated them, I, I put them into my bucket right there and I drip some of my tank water in there slowly. I don't do it rush rush it at all i really take my time it's like with a one hour process and you can see it. everything looks really well and is encrusted on the plugs uh, i'm going to do something a little bit different 
I'm going to make use of my overflow in my reef tank and it's a plastic overflow so what I got here is um, a reef welder from Aquamax I don't know if they sell it anymore I still had some left over the great thing about this is you can reuse it and just heat it up with some hot boiling water and as you can see I, I shaped it around my uh, frag plug and I'm going to secure this onto the plastic overflow with some super glue and if this thing does good it's going to grow out onto my overflow and it's going to look sweet um, I have other videos where I actually have this and you don't really see this too often in uh, YouTube videos or other reefers I use that cheap super glue you, you can pick up the, at the dollar store it works great it usually comes with a two pack and sometimes you might be lucky and get a three pack for those and it's a dollar and that's what I'm talking about and just secure it there it'll grow out and it'll look pretty nice I've tried the white reef welder in the past thinking that it would um, color up with the Coraline as most plastic items do in the in the reef tank for example the power heads that are plastic they end up getting Coraline and it looks pretty cool but the white reef welder for whatever reason uh, the Coraline doesn't really grow on it I used a, a purple mix on this and uh, you can make it longer shorter whatever you want and it, it looks pretty sweet so I'm going to show you some of the corals what they look like in the reef tank I got a bunch of different um, small polyp stony corals they're growing and uh, show you what everything looks like in the new new tank especially especially this uh, Pikachu as I got as a, as a freebie that thing is so yellow and that's why you know they call it the Pikachu it's pretty sweet right there front and center eventually I'm gonna be running out of room on my rocks I didn't want to add too much more rock to this setup I like having an open space aquarium with lots of room for the fishes to swim and so I'm not doing the 1980s um, look where it was just a huge rock wall um, from end to end I like having the open space and the room for the corals to grow um, that's what I do like about this Aquamax reef welder you know you can kind of shape things and you can put the uh, use it to hold up uh, your corals your SPS and be part of your aquascape um, I will say that once you put it on and you super glue it it's going to be pretty hard to pull off um, close to impossible because it welds to that uh, plastic really really good um, I do have like the Aptasia going on but a couple of videos ago I bought some nudibranch Bergias those slugs and they have been doing a great job I can I'm gonna do a video showing you like the differences um, but they're mainly hitting where there's a concentration of Aptasia so good stuff to have in your tank the reef welder is also a great addition and uh, I really like it some of my uh, blue coral right here is taking a little bit of a hit. Um, I think because my tank usually runs around 7 as far as alk. And it's like 8.9 right now. Uh, I slowed down on the uh, dosing. I'm doing two part. And I also started doing the uh, calc washer. Um, so what I'm going to do later on is I'm looking more into having the calc washer. Um, start dosing that to the tank without being in my ATO and doing like a uh, calc washer reactor um, I've been watching a lot of videos and pretty interesting on some of the stuff that uh, the guys have been talking about how it just maintained like the pH level instead of really chasing the the numbers eventually I'll end up getting a trident or something similar to that uh, hopefully the prices go down and you know it's a little bit more affordable Recently, they did a, uh, a customer appreciation sale where they dropped some of the uh, equipment considerably. So hopefully they'll do that later on. I did end up picking up uh, a dose. I've been looking at adding a second dose reactor. I mean, a doser from Neptune's Apex. And um, I really like it. It does take up kind of a lot of space. But uh, it's easy to use, calibrate, especially using it with your Apex. So I'll show you that. That's like my future plans with the Kalkwasser reactor 
and just trying to dial in this tank and making it look real good. Another piece of equipment that I've been kind of eyeing and I'll probably get later on is that Red Sea um, filter mat roller. I'm interested in getting that later on. Um, I think it looks pretty good and uh, I watched it on uh, Reef Builders from Jake and he was giving like the whole class on it and it seemed like a pretty nice addition to uh, add to your reef tank. I love having clear water. It'd be nice if uh, something was out there that actually kept like the detritus down with uh, people that have high flow tanks. You know, if you have high flow tank, usually you're going to see crap suspended in your water. And uh, I think a, a filter mat roller, something like that would be a nice addition. The thing that I've been doing has just been getting filter floss. Um, I'm not even running socks right now. I do have a ton of them, but uh, all I've been doing is getting that filter floss and pinning in my overflow and then just dumping it and throwing it away um, as I do my uh, weekly maintenance. As you can see, I got a lot of little particles blowing around and uh, that's kind of annoying, but uh, that's why I was interested in getting something like that, like a filter roller mat later on. I found this sweet spot right now where my corals are picking up real nice. It's the blues are on and I just want to show you like some of the zoas and everything how they've been growing. If you go back in the past videos I only had a couple of heads on these zoas. They're starting to grow and look really nice. Some of them are also disappearing I'm guessing because of Asterina starfish. Um, but I've been watching a video where they were saying that if you got another starfish, like a Lankia um, starfish, that it would eat the Asterina starfish up. Uh, in the past, I've done the Harlequin shrimp, uh, but I still might consider that if I can get my hands on them. But when the Harlequin shrimp um, needs to eat the chocolate chip starfish all the time, and sometimes when they're too weak, they can't uh, eat the chocolate chip starfish. Plus, I kind of feel bad for those chocolate chip starfish, feeding them to my... Uh, the uh, harlequin shrimp so i am on the hunt for a blue lankia starfish if you know a different kind of starfish that will eat the asterina starfish let me know in the comments below because uh, i'm definitely interested in doing that and looking at uh, implementing that into my roof tank to kind of control those damn asterina starfish um, the reason why i hate them i know a lot of people say that they don't do anything to their tank but that's the only reason that some of my zoas are disappearing because uh, uh, everybody else is doing good. All the other zoas are growing. They're real healthy and spreading out. And uh, some of them of mine are disappearing and taking a hit. And I'm guessing because of those Asterinas. I found the Asterinas in my sump. Um, every time I see them, I pull them out as best as possible. I get them. I throw them away. And uh, I've also caught them in the main display here and there and I've been pulling them out as much as I can as much as possible this piece right here uh, the jack-o-lantern um, took a hit I don't know why it kind of got like that so I decided to move it from its current position and put it down on the floor the cool thing about that thing it does have a sweeper so it will reach out and touch other corals this big piece of zoa right there is the tubs blue and some of the other guys are, are closed up. But check out the new addition from uh, to the reef tank. That Pikachu right there is just golden. Looks so nice and bright. And hopefully it does good in my tank. I am trying to uh, be an SPS master eventually. But uh, right now, I just got it from an SPS master. That's why it's looking so nice in my reef tank. Uh, give it some time and eventually, hopefully it it stays alive and doesn't look too dull. I'm trying to be a better reef keeper. And these pieces right here, I picked those ones up from uh, Sunnyside Corals in the last video. And uh, they're still doing pretty good. I glued them on to the rock with uh, regular super glue. I cut the bottom pieces of the frag plugs and throw those away. Now, Zoas and Pallies, that's a different story. I can keep those all day, usually. And these ones are pretty nice. I got that one from my buddy lynn reef nerd follow her on the instagram she's uh has a lot of posts and 
they're doing a lot of cool projects um, these ones candy apple reds a little bit closed up but man those colors are just popping this new edition that I got from Quarry it's opened up and is looking pretty sweet I think it's called the voodoo so I really like the way that it looks and I like that polyp extension um, in this tank this reef is coming along nicely you know I got a nice variety of different colored corals um, you know when you get into the hobby everything's usually green that's what we go for but now trying to get something with more variety different colors different color zoas uh, different color clothes um, trying to do things a little bit different and I've been reefing here for quite a bit maybe since I don't know 2006 2007 time frame and uh, the hobby has progressed a bunch of different ways technology has gotten different gotten better um, people are going to different methods and reef keeping is a, still a lot of fun for me um, I don't know any everything and I do learn from a lot of you guys I, I'll hit you guys up and ask you guys questions and how you're doing this and get your guys's opinion so it's a lot of fun it's cool when you guys drop comments down below and I usually answer pretty much everybody as soon as possible these clothes right here are pretty sweet I've always been into clothes I've always enjoyed them they got different color ones this these ones are yellow um, the ones that I order from Sunnyside Coral are have the orange in them and uh, I really like them that's where I had my jack-o-lantern coral up there on that uh, rock where all the or other orange corals are at and uh, that's where I decided to move it down I want to show you this frag rack that I have right here um, it was totally totally covered in Aptasia and the Nudibranch Bergia slugs right there have pretty much cleared it all out it's mostly clear I'm telling you like it was pretty packed and they've been going to town at that just eating eating away this one right here the second rack that I have needs some more work but uh, there they have been clearing out everything so I'm just gonna leave it as is I was gonna order some more Bergias but I think uh, I have enough in this tank um, I have about four five of those maybe six of them and uh, I'm about I'm good with that because you know that's the only thing that they eat is Aptasia I don't want them to starve and die um, I still have quite a bit left and I think it's a healthy pace it's not over overnight that they've been um, that they're gonna get rid of the problem and nothing ever so I'm just gonna let the Bergias do their thing eat the Aptasia naturally you know the tank looks better every day uh, from one week to the next things are clearing out and I even had them all over my Zoas and they're doing their thing so the only problem that I have now is those Asterinas and hopefully those little guys will get eaten up by a starfish that I can add later on so I can keep having these beautiful Zoas uh, they're looking sweet and I love love the colors and like I said when I got them there was only like one or two heads and now they are growing and multiplying against the entire tiles which is looking really really good let's go ahead and back up for a minute and take a look on the other side of the reef tank uh, that Montipora right there is doing really good I have uh, had it on the frag rack and then it started attaching itself to the back of the uh, tank on the glass and I really like the way that it looks take a look at some of these SPS um, sticks they're gonna look awesome once they grow out these are like some of the new pieces that I picked up from Mr. Budman um, right there and uh, hopefully you can see that some of the dead SPS that I had from my other move is also coming back the tips on the right are nice and green and hopefully they get some color that one coral that I have from the MP40 it did die the uh, skin blasted off of it um, I guess it was too much flow once it started doing the RTN um, the whole thing just hit that coral this piece I got from Mr. Budman is gonna go great hopefully cover up that whole side of the rock and this pink one also Mr. Budman I used some of that cheap dollar uh, super glue but you can see that polyp extension is out and it's looking great my zoas down here um, also 
going to cover up this entire side of the tank. That green Slimer, though, uh, it got injured because um, it fell down and I didn't see it. So I, I stood it up and I'm probably going to secure it with some more super glue. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of my Zoas. These ones are the Campfire Zoas or Nightmares. They were doing really good. They're kind of closed up. I think maybe because of the Asterinas. So I'm saying I totally hate Asterina starfish. They're no good. All they do is eat corals and make a mess. You would think that since they're being starfish, they would eat like the detritus and stuff like that. But the answer is no. They like to eat the expensive stuff. Like these ones right here might be affected. I don't know why they're closed up. But the color on them is pretty insane. I forgot the names of them. So if you know the name, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section. But I think they're called uh, Passion or something like that. Really nice. And they've grown really well over that tile. I've had a nice collection of Zoas and Pallies over the years. Different, different kinds of corals. And that's what it's all about for me. You know, I held off on a lot of equipment because all my money goes to corals. Um, I try not to buy so much equipment and I'd rather use that money on different corals but sometimes it's necessary to do an upgrade on your system so that way your corals and everything else will be more healthy. These pallies right here are the ones that I'm talking about with the orange and uh, let's see if I can get a better look at them. I might have to zoom out a little bit. I don't know what your favorite corals are but uh, soft coral is great like these suckers right here they're gonna grow off of the the frag plug right there and eventually grow out on that tile and it's just gonna look amazing later on when it's done um it's kind of like once they start spreading like you can't stop them they like really take off and it's a beautiful thing i'm just enjoying the growth of everything i don't plan on cutting these i don't plan on fragging any of them um I'm just letting them grow out and eventually uh, just cover up this entire frags and tiles and everything like that. It's going to look amazing. Um, but right now I'm not cutting anything up. Just letting it do its thing and, and I don't have any plans of selling coral. But if you are looking for corals and you want to get your hands into salt water and things like that, find a local area reefing club, something local to you. Look up. On the forums reef to reef or reef central look up on your facebook group pages uh, there's lots of equipment that you can buy locally and uh, that you won't have to spend a whole lot of money same thing with corals some of them will be selling um, the corals for real cheap and uh, they'll be willing to help you out but that is if you can find a good local reefing club they'll school you they'll give you a lot of knowledge they'll tell you what works what doesn't work what to buy and where to buy and so that way you don't waste your money on a, a lot of uh, junk but I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out uh, this is one of my favorites the Captain America Pally is right there they're really nice and uh, a good addition to any reef tank but appreciate you guys hanging out with me watching the video if you want to buy some coral uh, find your local reefers but if you want to go ahead and get some fire some SPS like like I did uh, you don't have to wait for sales you can pick them up by entering that coupon code which I'll put in the description again thanks for watching guys you guys have a good one and consider hitting that like comment and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one guys